I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my student. It is based on zeros of quadratic function. The question is, the graph of the function f of x equals to x square minus kx plus k plus 8 touches x-axis at one point. What are the possible values of k? Let me first thank my student for sharing this question. And I hope this solution helps many others. Uh, I'll start with the very basic concept and then get to the solution of this equation. We are given the function f of x equals to x square minus kx plus k plus 8. As you can see, it is a quadratic function, right? Of the form, we can write in general a quadratic function as y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Right, so the given function is a quadratic function like ax square plus bx plus c. That is the standard form. Now it says touches x-axis at one point. So if the graph touches x-axis at one point, it means what? Uh, it means that the uh, vertex is on the x-axis. It means the graph could be something like this, right? Or it could be something like this. Now you can see that these graphs of parabola, which is parabola is the shape which you get when you graph a quadratic equation, they touch x-axis at a point. That means the vertex is on the x-axis, right? Now you can use the discriminant to figure out the value of the coefficients which will make this possible. What I mean to say is that you could analyze b square minus 4ac. That's the discriminant. b is the coefficient of x, a is coefficient of x square, and c is the constant. Now, the condition for it to have just one root is that b square minus 4ac should be equal to zero right so that is the condition if so that is with one root or one zero right and you know if this is positive in that case we have two zeros and if this is negative then we have no zeros at all we are talking about real zeros is it okay or these x intercepts correct so with this concept let's move forward and solve the question now here in this equation what is a for us a is equals to 1, coefficient of x squared. B is coefficient of x, which is minus k. And c is what for us? c is a constant. So k is a constant, 8 is a constant. So we'll treat k plus 8 as c. Right? So this makes this question kind of typical. Now we'll apply this formula. b squared minus 4ac. Right? So we'll actually analyze the discriminant, right? So this is called the discriminant. So we'll write discriminant. B squared minus 4ac should be equal to 0 for the graph to touch x-axis at one point, right? So substitute the values. We already know b is minus k. So we say minus k, that is squared, minus 4 times a is 1 and c is k plus 8. That should be equal to 0, right? So this gives us k square minus 4 times k is 4k minus 4 times 8 is minus 32. Minus 32 equals to 0, right? Now we could factor this or we could we need to basically find the value of k. So we could either factor or or we could uh, uh, use the quadratic formula to find the value of k, right, from here. So we need product of 32 and sum of 4. Two numbers should be of opposite sign. Bigger number has to be negative. Is it okay? So bigger number has to be negative. Now, 8 times 4 is 32. So I could factor this as k 
bigger number is negative k minus 8 times k plus 4 right so that will give you the factored form of this equation equals to 0 so we find two solutions for this condition so the constant k could be equal to 8 or it could be equal to minus 4 do you see that so those are the two possible values for k which will ensure that this equation the graph of this equation touches the x-axis only at one point so you can actually test this out also right so you can actually substitute this value and test uh, well that could be your exercise so you could do that right uh, what I mean to say is you could write down your equation substituting k as 8 so what do you get so you get one of the functions as equals to x square minus 8x plus uh, 8 plus 8 is 16 right now you can see this is indeed a perfect square right you could write this as uh, x minus 4 whole square right so you could write this as equals to x minus 4 whole square and that graph touches the x-axis only at one point uh, and that point is x equals to 4 right similarly you could also write a function let me rewrite with minus 4 f of x equals to x square so if I write minus 4 it becomes plus here plus 4x minus 4 plus 8 will give me plus 4 and that could be written as x plus 2 whole square right x plus 2 whole square so so we have two answers k equals to 8 and k equals to minus 4 and that results into these two equations so actually you'll get kind of a graph let me now sketch it here one of them is having zeros at minus 2 opening upwards like this right so this is one let me call this as function 2 so this is my f of second function right the other one is minus 4 so this is at 4 so this parabola is kind of opening up right there right so this is my first function which I'm writing as f1 this point is at at 4 this is at minus 2 right so you have these two solutions and as you can see for k equals to 8 and k equals to minus 4 the graph of the given function touches x-axis at one point so I hope you understand the whole concept key here is to treat this number as C right k plus 8 is a constant so once you do that I hope you get the right answer I'm Anil Kumar feel free to share and subscribe my videos thanks for sharing